An amazing song is the Sunday, and the accompanying music video is the cherry on top. Many times when we hear a song, we imagine what the music video could or should look like long before it hits the streets. Artists know the power of an attractive visual. That's why featuring well-known faces have become so popular and a great way to create hype and help a track climb the charts. Here are 10 of the most epic celebrity cameos in some of your favorite R&B and hip hop music videos. Case, Happily Ever After. Happily Ever After is the second single released from Case's second studio album, Personal Conversation in 1999. At the beginning of the video, you see a beautiful woman walking down the street with shopping bags in hand. Lo and behold, it's Beyonce. The then 17-year-old played Case's love interest, receiving dozens upon dozens upon dozens of bouquets of flowers, a beautiful new outfit, a chauffeured ride to meet Case at a private location, where at the end, he presents her with an enormous engagement ring. Fun fact, they were supposed to kiss at the end instead of hug, but Daddy Matthew said, Not the day. Omarion, Icebox. Icebox is the second single from Omarion's second album, 21, released in 2006. In the video, Omarion is tormented by a relationship that's coming to an end, even though he loves his girlfriend deeply and wants to try to work out their problems. At one point in the video, you see Omarion seated at a table. Then the camera angle switches to an over the shoulder view of Omarion and someone seated directly across from him, but all you get is a blurry arm and some hair. Then a side profile of mostly hair, and then bam, it's Solange, looking as beautiful and sexy as she wanna look. Hey, if big sis Beyonce can do music video cameos, why can't she? Brandy and Monica, The Boy Is Mine. The Boy Is Mine by Brandy and Monica, or Monica and Brandy, depending on which one you're more a fan of, was released in 1998 as the lead single from both singers' second albums, Never Say Never by Brandy and The Boy Is Mine by Monica. It was actually inspired by the Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney 1982 duet, The Girl Is Mine. Of course, as the title clearly states, a boy was very much needed for the video. Enter Mackay Pfeiffer. He was acquainted with Brandy as he had already been cast as her love interest in the movie I Still Know What You Did Last Summer. Just before filming for the movie started, she asked him if he would be interested in doing the music video in the meantime, and he agreed. Harlem World, I Really Like It. I Really Like It is the lead single from rap group Harlem World's debut album, The Movement, released in 1999. It featured Mace and R&B singer Kelly Price. Now, no 90s hip hop music video would be complete without some hot girls, and there are plenty in this one. Tracy Bingham, Paula Jai Parker, and Tia and Tamara. Yes. They were beautiful, color coordinated, and looked like they were having the time of their life. And boy, do they have star power. Clearly evident by the fact that as of the making of this video, they just happen to be the thumbnail for the music video on YouTube. Jamie Foxx featuring T-Pain, Blame It. Blame It, also known as Blame It on the a -A 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 Alcohol by actor-singer Jamie Foxx, is the second official single released from his third studio album, Intuition, in 2009. The single features rapper T-Pain, plus a bunch of other heavy hitter celebrities in the music video. Now, the total number is too much to list here, so I'll just focus on the most notable five men featured at the very beginning. A Rolls Royce pulls up to the club with Jake Gyllenhaal in the driver's seat, cut to Forrest Whitaker in shotgun, Ron Howard behind the driver, and of course, Jamie next to him. Then before they even get out of the car, we get an inside shot of the club where Samuel L. Jackson is just sitting there chilling amongst some lovely ladies, smoking what we'll call a cigarette for now. This is definitely one video shoot I wish I could have been on, and I would have been quite content being the coat check girl or bartender. 
Beyonce, Halo. Halo, released in 2009, is the third international single from her third studio album, I Am Sasha Fierce. The music video starts with Queen Bee staring lovingly at her man in a bed, sleeping with his face turned away from her. A few seconds later, they're both standing at a window with the light shining in on them and her man holding her from behind and looky looky, it's actor Michael Ely. Their romantic relationship in the video was even more pronounced by the fact that they are the only two people in the entire video. Perhaps alluding to the fact that many times in relationships, it really is you and your boo against the world. Kanye West, Fade. Fade is the third single released from his seventh studio album, The Life of Pablo in 2016. Let me tell you, the one woman dancing in the video all by herself made it so hot, sexy, and eye-catching that Kanye didn't even bother to appear in the video at all. That woman is none other than triple threat actress, singer, dancer, Tiana Taylor. Warning, if you feel some kind of way about your body after watching this video, that's none of my business. Kanye West featuring Lupe Fiasco, Touch the Sky. Touch the Sky was released in 2006 as the second single from his second studio album, Late Registration. The song features Lupe Fiasco on his career debut. The music video portrays the daredevil, evil Kanyevil, in homage to Evil Knievel's unsuccessful jump across the Snake River Canyon. Any man doing these types of death-defying feats would probably appreciate a supportive woman by his side rooting him on, right? Enter Pamela Anderson. She fit the bill very nicely, even though she seemed more annoyed with him than supportive. Then, during an on-camera interview with a news station, two women come into the frame to tell him off. Nia Long, who clearly appears to be a scorned ex-lover, and her sidekick, Girlfriend. <clears throat> girlfriend! Get it? See what I did there? <clears throat> Tracy Ellis Ross. Puff Daddy, Been Around the World. Been Around the World, featuring the notorious B.I.G. and Mace, is the second single released from his No Way Out album that dropped in 1997. Puff, Diddy, Puff... Let's just go with Puff, because that's what he was calling himself then. Puff being Puff, totally Michael Jacksoned out the 10 minute music video in short film style. There's also a ton of major star players in the music video, provided by the likes of Vivica A. Fox, Quincy Jones, and Wyclef John. However, no one stands out more than the salsa dancing Tunisian princess played by Jennifer Lopez, that Puff partnered up with for their impressive dance routine. That's very interesting. Their relationship started with dancing in a music video and ended with dancing in a nightclub as shots rang out. Michael Jackson, Remember the Time. Remember the Time is the second single released from his eighth studio album, Dangerous, in 1992. The music video, if you can call it that, is really a nine minute short film helmed by acclaimed film director, John Singleton. Set in ancient Egypt, it features appearances of Eddie Murphy as a pharaoh, Iman as his queen, Magic Johnson, and Tommy Tiny Lister as palace guards. Mr. Jackson comes on the scene when the queen complains of boredom, and the pharaoh brings in numerous entertainers to lift her spirits. Of course, MJ is undeniably the best of the bunch and gets the queen's juices flowing much to the Pharaoh's dismay, and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video and subscribe for more amazing content. See you next time.